AITA for ruining the family gathering over a joke my sister made? For some context I, 28M, and my wife, Claire, 25F, are expecting. Claire is currently 8 months pregnant. Our son being expected to be born in November 2023. This isn't our first pregnancy though. Claire got pregnant two years ago. But the day our daughter was born, she passed away. This crushed us both mentally. Especially for my wife. Well I have a sister. Hannah. 19F. Who for better words. Lacks sympathy. Our parents always try to defend her. And try to say she has a dark sense of humor. But this time. She took it too far. We were at a family gathering yesterday and it all went well. Until the topic of the pregnancy came up. Everybody was asking how Claire was and some of females. Like my aunts. Grandmother. Mom. We're asking about the birthing plan when my sister says. While laughing, let's hope this baby isn't like the last. Talking about mine and Claire's daughter. I completely lost it I started screaming at Hannah. Telling her that was completely rude of her. And that if she ever says stuff like that again she wouldn't be able to ever even see our son. Hannah started crying while Claire was already crying. My dad took me away from my sister and I got yelled at for making Hannah cry over a joke, and I ruined the gathering. AITA? I will admit I may have been harsh while threatening to not let Hannah see my son but this isn't the first time she made a joke like that. NTA I have a very dark sense of humor but this was beyond anything. Your dad is a massive off for defending your sister. WTF. She's not 5 yo. Joke over dead nephew just before your next one is born? Seriously WTF. NTA. Dark sense of humor is at one's own expense, not someone else's. NTA. Your sister was way out of line. And your family are Oz for defending her. I'm so sorry about your loss. NTA. Unfathomably disgraceful remarks are not dark humor. Block them all. Your wife doesn't need the stress. And do not let them see the baby. None of them. No pictures either. Don't say anything. NTA. That was a monstrous thing to say. I wouldn't let her anywhere near your family after this. That's not forgivable. NTA. If you have a dark sense of humor. You absolutely must learn that there's a time and a place for it. Dark humor very easily becomes cruel when deployed inappropriately. And this is a clear example of that. That was just a heartless thing to say to you and your wife. NTA but your dad and sister definitely are. She's 19, not 9. He can't be fighting her battles. It's also horrible that her behavior and jokes are being minimized when they are cruel. I'd take a step back and go LC from those two personally. They don't get to act as if it's okay to say something like that. To put that out into the universe. If they can't be supportive to you and your wife. They can be in a timeout. You didn't overreact at all. Good luck op. Edit. Typo. NTA because you and your wife's feelings were hurt and that's a terrible thing to say to a couple. That went through that. The screaming could have been handled better but meh. Touchy subjects bring up unexpected reactions. I more so want to figure out what is Hannah going. Through to be so desensitized to say something like that, she's definitely old enough to know better. And having a dark sense of humor isn't an excuse. NTA. It was an awful thing to say. This is exactly the kind of situation where you go and see. Jokes are funny, so it wasn't a joke. NTA. NTA. You did not ruin the gathering. Your sister did and your family failed to stand up for you and your wife. Your sister crossed a line with a disgusting joke. If consequences include no visits, that's her fault. 
She should apologize as should your dad. Protect yourself and your wife. Do not let your family bully you into accepting your sister's sick words as a joke and her BS. Manipulative tears. If they can't see that she crossed a line, they should be ashamed of themselves and low or no contact may be needed. YTA if you let Hannah see your son. I know all kids stop believing in Santa and the Tooth Fairy eventually. But I can't help but think that with Hannah as an aunt. Those childhood moments of wonder and innocence will dry up really fast. Come on. Even Wednesday Adams wouldn't crack a joke like that. NTA. As a woman who is currently pregnant. Infant loss and miscarriage jokes are sick. Especially when being told or said to someone who is expecting. Sister ought to have known better as she definitely was there while you and your wife mourned the loss of your firstborn. NTA but please don't say, females, it's the worst. Cut off all their access to new baby until they understand they are assholes. NTA I am so tired of people saying absolutely disgusting things and passing it off as dark sense of humor. Your sister has serious problems that's a lack of empathy that borders on sociopathic. NTA. I bet she tears the wings off flies and the legs off spiders too. I have a dark sense of humor too. I don't think that was even a joke. It just feels like a sucker punch at your wife. Also, your parents need to stop shielding their daughter. In the real world, people sometimes talk back with their fists. NTA obviously. If I were you, I would make sure she never comes near your son. She sounds like she has an agenda against your wife. I Honestly, the fact that it was a joke is actually the problem. If she'd expressed an earnest wish that you and your wife not suffer the same loss, then you could argue that she'd expressed herself poorly. But she didn't she treated the loss of your child as the subject for a joke. Of course you reacted the way you did. NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.